Back here on the Central Coast, some movie magic is underway right now. Gavilan College's film department is putting on a 72-hour film contest. Action News 8 reporter Ariana Hasso takes a look at the action. They're all going to be sleep-deprived, they'll have red eyes, um, um, but, but I think it's going to be a fun experience that they'll remember for a long time. Action! It's crunch time from start to finish for participants creating a whole film in just 72 hours. This is one where time is an issue. They have 72 hours to write it, film it, edit it, and upload it. And if they're a minute late, if they're not eligible. Professors say they wanted to give artists as much freedom as possible. But there are just three elements that each group needs to include. A prop, a line of dialogue, and a certain character. They have to include a garlic bulb somewhere in their film. They have to include the name uh, Jack Richards, which is Grant's dad's name, uh, uh, in the film for one of their characters. And they have to include the line, I'm the boss. A contest like this really just showcases, like, there's a time limit, and you need to make that. And the day before the deadline, Grady Fiorio is now on the final stages, working on about nine hours of editing. It's been a wild ride. We spent yesterday, Saturday, shooting all day. It was a long process. Things kind of slowed down a little bit, but uh, we had a really good time, and uh, right now I'm editing it at home. Some even still working down to the wire on scene production. So either we're going to shoot again tonight, I'm not getting you to make up a, a shot, um, or we're going to try to make best of what we can. Whether it be thriller, action, or comedy, films can be any genre and as long as they want. Director Trevor Rock says his is a drama. My story is about uh, PTSD. A uh, uh, guy comes back, he's celebrating his people, and he's on a slow decline mentally. Um, realizes his problems and uh, that there's, you know what, there's a bigger issue than what's going on here. The film that's going to uh, win the contest will probably be one that we wish there, it was longer. We wish there was more story to be told. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. is their deadline to get their films in. And on Friday, judges will announce the winner on Facebook and YouTube Live. If you want to see who wins and watch the submitted films, their Facebook name is at Gavilan Film Department. Now let's head over to Holt with a check. Of